In this video, I'm going to show you how to expand a form dynamically based on uh, a user's action. And this will come in handy if you have a user interface that has some hidden controls here or uh, controls that are set to visible no. Uh, and what that does is when you open up the form, it causes all this dead space here. So it makes your form look a little weird. My particular situation is that I have a login form that has controls that are visible, but I also have another set of controls that are set to visible no that I only want to show when the user clicks on change password because these uh, controls affect the updating of the password. So I don't want this to show uh, like this when the form opens up. I'd like the uh, form to show uh, this section only and then show uh, the bottom section only if they ch select the change password but again the problem is that I have all this dead space and it makes the form look weird so how do I make the form open up uh, to fit this top section only and then when I click the button it'll automatically expand to fit both well the answer to my problem is a form footer instead of actually changing the visible property of each individual control I can actually take these controls place them onto a form footer and just change the f visible property of the form footer to either on or off or true or false. And uh, what that does is two things. One is it uh, allows me not to have to diddle with each and every single control's visible property. I can work with just one object, the form footer. Also it allows me to use the size to fit run command in order for my form to auto expand out. So let's go ahead and create a form footer here. I'm going to right click on the detail and I'm going to click on form header slash footer. And what that does is it ha adds both a header and a footer. Uh, we can go ahead and ignore the header for right now. We're just going to work with the footer. And I can literally highlight all these ob uh, controls here and cut them out. Adjust the form footer to end at the last control on the visible part that we want, well, the part that we want to stay visible. And then um, right here, I'm going to right click and hit paste and so now my controls are on the footer great and uh, let me go ahead and switch the uh, properties the visible property of my controls to visible yes so now I basically have a detail section and a footer section now you can't tell it's a footer section but these controls are sitting in the footer section so the next thing we want to do is we want to design this again and right click on the footer and go to properties um, format visible no so as you can see the uh, c controls that are in the detail section are showing up but more notably we don't have all this dead space here the form actually automatically sized to fit just to show the detail now that's half of our problem gone the other half is how to make the control expand back out when we select change password and actually show the controls here I'm going to right click on the change password button here and go to the uh, properties event tab on click event I'm going to uh, put in a couple of simple uh, pieces of code here first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to basically refer to the form of me uh, form footer visible equals true okay so that makes the form footer visible and now I have to put something in here that will uh, resize the form to include the form footer do command run command AC command size to fit form okay and what that will do again it will just basically resize the form to include the form footer alright let's see how that is going to work here when the form initially opens up all we can see here is the controls that uh, handle the login information then if I hit change password uh, the form expands out to uh, show only the update information perfect so now what I want to do is I want to uh, make sure that I have a button to go the opposite way when I hit update for example I'd like for uh, the form to uh, go back to the way it was so again I'll right click on the update button go to properties event tab on click and I'll go to uh, the form builder here code builder and I'll say just the opposite me form footer visible equals false and then again I'm, I can even just really just copy this uh, uh, run command statement 
do command, run command, and I'm going to run the AC command size to fit form command. And save that. And I'll go ahead and run the form here. And now, again, change password, expands out the form, and then update brings it back to where it was.